Hello, students. Let's discuss question number seven. Diagram four shows nine letter cards. One Malaysia. One M A L A Y S I A. Right, a four letter code. Four letter code. Is to be formed using four of these cards. Right, the number of a find the number of different four-letter codes that can be formed. The number of different four-letter codes that consists of consonant letters and number one only. Consonant letters only and number one only. Be very careful when you read the question. So let's discuss how to get the answer for this question involving permutation with condition. Right? Let's get start with the discussion of the question number seven A and seven B. Have fun. Let's see this. Of nine letter code one Malaysia one M A L A Y S I A. So obviously you can see they are one number and eight alphabet. Of eight alphabet, you have three A and one I vowel, and you have. M Y L S in blue color, which is so called consonants. All right, vowels is in red color letters, and the consonants are in blue color letters with the one as the number, the only number. So if we want to arrange in order, that is called permutation. So we must consider the position of the letters, and if there is a condition, we have to stick to the condition given by the question. All right. So let's see the question A. We are asking to arrange. So basically, we want to study the letters. We have three vowels and one number. So the vowels are. A, we have three A's, and we have six. The balance after we minus out the three A, we have six, which we have four consonants, M Y L S. We have I is a vowel. For the first case without A, so we have six multiplied by five, multiplied by four, multiplied by three. Or you can say it's six p four, or equivalent to three hundred and sixty ways, right? So, due to permutation with condition, we have to consider the case with one a. We have six multiplied by five, multiplied by four, multiplied by four, which is four hundred and eighty ways. So the example of the position of the one A, I can list out a few example. In fact, there are many example. We have four hundred eighty ways. So a few of the example that I list out here. Example, I have A followed by another six letters other than A. It can be I. I got six. Six letters. So if I fill up the first one, it will be six ways, followed by five ways, followed by four ways. It will be the same if the position of the A is at the sec second space, right? If the position of A change, the number of ways for the balance of the six letters remain as six multiplied by five multiplied by four. So we have. Four position of the A, so that is why we need to consider the position of the arrangement of the A with different 
position. So the number of waves will be 4 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 4. So all together we have 6 times 6 times 5 which is equal to 80 ways if there are two A's, right? Because of the position of the two A's, we have six different positions. So we have to take six times the six times five. Why is it six times five? Because after we fill up the two A's, right? We, we actually have six letters, right? We have six letters. So, for the first space, we have six ways to fill up for, for the pink color space. For the blue color space, since we have filled up one, so the balance are five letters. So, we can have five ways. So, for arranging of the 2A, we have six positions. So that is why we will use 6 times 6 times 5. Alright? So the number of the ways arranging with condition with two A's will be many ways. 6 multiplied by 6 times 5. So here are the a few a possible arrangements for the position of the two A's, right? So we have to consider all the possibility before we do calculation for the permutation. So uh, if we fill up the empty space with the six letters, okay, example, we can fill up with the M, we can fill up with the Y, all right? Other than that, we can fill up with the one also. So, uh, so let's see this one. I fill up with two A's for the third space in purple color. So I have six letters. Followed by, I have five letters, right? So it will be the same. Uh, the number of A will be always six times five after we fill up the two A's with different position. So for cases like this, we have to list out in a systematic way, six and the five ways and the two A's, so that we are, are very sure the A's are fill up with the possible position that we can list out. All right. So beside two A's, we still got the case which three A's, right? So the last case will be with two A's. So these are possibility that I can list out for the two A's. Actually, in fact, we have many ways. We have how many ways? We have six times, six times five, which is uh, six times five will be 30. 30 times six will be 180 ways. So if we want to list out, we have 180 possible arrangement. What about for three A's? For three A's, we are lucky because since we fill up the three A's, all right, the number of uh, space left is just one. So we just have six possibility, six ways to fill up the only space. So in this case, we can say that we, we can consider the position of three A's as shown here, we can fill up with the A, 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 followed by another six letters that we can fill up, right? So we can also have the six with the three A at the end, either the beginning with the three A or we can end with the three A. Or maybe we can have the position of three A at different position other than the first three A or the last three A's, right? We can start with the second, or maybe the first, and the second last and the last. So it will be like this, as shown in the diagram. Or we can fill up the 2A first, followed by the last A at the, at the end. So uh, the balance 
we can fill up with the six possible possible let, uh, letters, right? Example, we have M, we have one other than that, right? Other than A. So, for question B, it's asking for consonants and one only. So, meaning that all the consonants with one, all right? So, for part B, the number of ways to arrange is a bit simpler. So, it's actually just 4P4, but because we can write 4 factorial of 4P4 for arranging of the M, Y, S and the I. Alright, so there are 4 P4 ways. But then, because, because of the 1, we can fill up with the... How many positions? We have 4 positions, right? 1 can fill up at the first space. It can be filled up with the second space. It can fill up with the third and last space, right? So the answer will be 96. 4 times 4 P4 will be 96. So that's all my sharing for today's permutation with condition. I really hope that after you see the diagram and my explanation, you will have a very clear picture about how to figure out the permutation with condition in your exam. Till then, bye-bye and have a nice day.